Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. For those of you who don't know me, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine, homeopathy, and acupuncture before recurring to the use of conventional medicine. This way I can work with my patients to make their own bodies solve the problem before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. I'll be posting videos and letting you know when and where I'll be attending personal inquiries nationally and internationally. Nonetheless, you can check out our webpage or schedule an online appointment. Today, we're gonna get right to it. Let's go ahead and talk about the warning signs of a heart attack. A heart attack occurs when the heart doesn't receive enough oxygen. This can be due to several reasons. One of which can be the cause of, you know, a blood clot, narrowing of a blood vessel, or any, you know, type of that sort. So what are the symptoms of a heart attack? Very quickly before I go on to the description of each symptom, I'll go ahead and name them all, okay? That way we can get through, through this uh, quickly. And these are chest pain, you know, headaches, jaw pain, toothaches, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, epigastric or upper middle abdomen discomfort, indigestion, arm pain, commonly the left arm, but it could be either arm, okay? Upper back pain, general malaise, vague feeling of, it, of illness or sweating or getting pale. You see, there are a lot and there are quite a few, and in some occasions there might not be any symptoms at all. So let's talk a little bit about each symptom I just mentioned. All right, so chest pain is the hallmark symptom of a heart attack, and it can take many different forms. In other cases, you know, chest pain may not even appear. So that's, that's why I said there might not even be symptoms. The characteristic chest pain of a heart attack describes a sense of extreme pressure, squeezing and fullness, and the pain start right at the center of the chest. The pain or discomfort typically lasts for more than a few minutes, or it may go away and then return. It can spread down the arms or the back or the head or the neck, okay? Both women and men report chest pain as a primary symptom of a heart attack, but women, more often than men, are likely to have other symptoms of nausea, jaw pain, shortness of breath, okay? The pain of a heart attack can spread down both arms, but especially the left arm, okay? It could spread down to the, up, up to the jaw, head, or your back. And both, re, you know, both uh, report these, uh, these symptoms as, as being as equally as bad. Nausea or feeling sick on your stomach is a less common but possible symptom of a heart attack. Nausea may accompany a heart attack and become so severe, vomiting occurs. Another symptom of a heart attack is feeling, you know, being unwell and likely of coming down on an, on, on an illness. This can be described as fatigue, you know, let, let headedness or feeling like you're fainting, okay? Some will experience anxiety or panic during, during a, a heart attack, it's pretty intense. A common symptom of a heart attack is sweating also. It's per perspiration. Some people describe feeling that they're breaking out on a cold sweat or sometimes become pale to the point where you know their, their peers can notice it. So as you can see, there are many symptoms for a heart attack. The key thing to do is to know the symptoms and be sure to be able to call an ambulance as soon as you su suspect it's coming. Now, who's at risk of a heart attack? Let's talk a little bit about people that are at risk of a heart attack. Well, some of the people that are at risk of, you know, are people that have high blood pressure, people that have chronic illnesses such as diabetes, you know, uh, and other chronic illnesses. If you haven't checked out my other videos where I'll discuss how to treat high blood pressure and diabetes naturally, I suggest you do so. I describe many other things how to prevent, a, you know, a, of your illness to become a heart attack. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I have lots more coming your way on natural cures and remedies. I'll let you, let you guys know when I'll be attending consultations nationally and internationally, or you can schedule an online appointment. I have great diagnosis equipment in natural medicine for the specific needs of my patients. If there's anything you need, supplements, or a complete list of treatments for the disease you're, you're, you're looking for, visit drlandivar.com or check out the information posted below. See you soon, guys.